Hey guys, it's Michael, and today I'm going to be starting a new tutorial series that I've talked about before on how to create a website. And what we're going to be focusing on through this tutorial is how to create a portfolio website where you can showcase your design work or video work or photography, anything along those lines of design. So what we're going to be working on in this part is going to be how to create it in Photoshop and the basic template of it and what the design aspects are going to look like. And then later on we're going to get into how to code it, how to cut it in um, Photoshop and then bring it into Dreamweaver. So hope you stay tuned and hope you like these videos because these will really help you out and create a professional website. So we're going to get started and go into Photoshop. You're going to want a canvas size of 1680 by 1050 and the base is going to be white. We're just going to go to our paint bucket tool and we're going to bring the color a little bit more to a mediumish lighter gray and we're just going to paint bucket that in. Then we're going to create a new layer on top of that and we're going to go to our brush tool and make the brush size at 1000. And then we're going to go to our color, bring it to white, and we're going to put it right in the center. And we're going to go to our move tool and we're going to center it right up so it's right in the center and make sure that it doesn't go off the edges so this is, looks perfect. And then also I have my guides up and those are really easy to put. Just go to view, go to uh, rulers, and then put your guides on and drag them over to the center on the top and the bottom. And then after we have that, we're going to make a new layer on top of that. Go to our rectangle tool and we're going to get a dark gray. And we're going to make it just like this. Just like that. That looks about the right width right about there rasterize that layer and then bring it over so it's centered on the page good okay cool now we're gonna go into the layer styles of this first we're gonna add an outer glow bring it down to black normal size of 10 and bring the opacity down to 40 percent just a little bit of glow on the edges of this and then the next thing we're gonna want to do is create a new layer on top of that and we're going to go back to our rectangle tool and make sure we have a lighter gray selected and we're actually we're just going to use a white we can set this to overlay so we're going to create another box and we're going to make this about just to, yeah, about that big rasterize and then right click on it create clipping mask so it's inside of our other layer and then set that to overlay that already looks really good and then we're just going to go into the layer properties and the only thing we're going to switch we're going to add a gradient overlay change it to multiply and then set the opacity of that to 20 percent and then go up to filter noise add noise and then make the noise to three and that's all set now the top part of this is going to be our top banner where it's going to be like your logo and information and links to the different um, pages so we're going to zoom in create a new layer and then we're gonna get some text now you can use whatever font you want for the logo area and put your own logo in there but I'm gonna just gonna I'm just gonna use um let's see we'll use Babus Babus new and you can get this on um to font.com so I'm just gonna put in tutorial and now you don't want your logo to be too big I'm gonna set this to 20 font since this is the actual like logo area and I'm using text so tutorial I'm gonna make some smaller text under it and this is if you don't have your own logo and we're gonna have that say tutorial graphic design now what you're gonna to wanna to do is put this under tutorial text but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go over here to the character options and ch change the spacing so that it's as wide as your tutorial text so I'm going to change mine to 100. It looks like we might need a little bit more, so I'm going to go 120 with that. And we're going to need just a little bit more. Do 150. And that looks just about right. Yep, that's right. And that looks good right there. And so we're just going to take both of those. And we're just going to bring them over, left align them about right there. And then we're going to drag over a guide. Looks perfect. Now I'm just going to add some simple layer styles to these add a gradient overlay, set it to multiply and bring it to 20% and this is going to be in the tutorial on the main text layer gradient 
multiply 20 go into the gradient style bring it down to 70 awesome then go to drop shadow make sure the angle is at 90 and then distance of 0 good and then just change the opacity down to 50 and then we're just gonna go into the smaller text and we're just gonna add the drop shadow and that's gonna be it distance of 0 and then size of 5 opacity 50 alright so that's all good now that we have that done we're gonna add our pages into here so for our pages it doesn't matter what font you use if you're gonna be doing the coding in Dreamweaver and you want to code the text you're gonna need to set it to Arial or Georgia or something like that that is recognized by that so I'm just gonna keep mine at Babus and we're just gonna create our pages so first it's gonna be home and make sure this, make this test, text a little bit bigger 18 looks good so we're gonna do home hold shift control J multiply the layer about me control J drag it over portfolio which is gonna be where the gallery of your work is control J and contact we're just gonna do four pages you can add as many pages as you want whatever suits your website and then we're gonna make sure that all of these the spacing is back to zero I forgot to do that before I'm sorry about that so we're just gonna make sure all these are changed okay so now I'm back now what I've done is I've just created the text right here have zero percent spacing and then I put some basic rectangle lines or them and all you're gonna do to make those is go to the rectangle tool and then just make the lines as long as each thing of text and after that is done we're gonna go to our colors and we're gonna choose an accent color and this is gonna be the main accent color of the whole website so choose a color you like make it look good with the website and just pretty much you just wanna match it with the theme you're going for and the main colors that you would like to showcase so I'm gonna go for a green and I think I'm gonna go for a kind of lime green maybe maybe more like a bluish I think I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna do some blue so I'm gonna get blue right here control C just to make sure I have that color and then I'm just gonna go into the shape that I have made go to color overlay and then select that blue so that's our accent blue and then when that's done just go into the layer styles add a drop shadow put the size to uh, zero and then the I mean the distance to zero size to seven and then bring the opacity down to about 30 percent on that and that looks really good so that's the way we're gonna keep those and after that is done we're gonna move on to the display box which is this middle gray area that we made earlier now this box is gonna be used to display your pictures and anything you want to put in here so we already have the framing done of it I'm just gonna add some a box in the middle of it and we're gonna keep that color we're gonna do the same color that's inside of the gray so choose that color and we're gonna create a new layer and then make a rectangle then you're gonna wanna make it pretty big so it takes up most of that box I'm gonna make it to these two guides we have made earlier and that looks good so make that rasterize it now this is gonna hold all of the um, the different things that you've created so like your different backgrounds and stuff like that so make sure you have this selected bring it down center it up and after that is done go into the layer styles what we're gonna add to this is a stroke of one actually we'll do a stroke of two color white and we're gonna set that to overlay bring the opacity down to 50 and then also add an outer glow we're gonna make the outer glow black change it to normal size of we'll do size 10 and opacity at 30 and that looks good now you don't need to do much because the picture is going to be in there so there really doesn't have to be anything else so after we have that done we're just going to move down and we're just going to put another box down here so get to your to box tool and then we're going to select white make a new layer and then create another box and just try to line it up with this and we're going to make it about that size that I have it right there and this is going to be another information box that's going to show some recent projects you've done 
put that layer down to the clipping mask that we created on our main gray layer of the background. Okay, so what I've done to cut down on a little bit of time, I actually dragged that gray box that we just made previously down to the bottom and then created the same dark color that we have throughout the background, the main color. So after we have that done, we're going to make a rectangle box just like this. And we're going to need three of those, but first we're going to add the layer styles. And I just made it blue just so it stands out, but we're going to put a picture in there of some of our work that we have. So it really won't matter what color it is. So we're going to go to multiply on the gradient and bring the opacity down to 30%. Now it's really subtle right now, but you're going to be able to tell when it's actually with a picture in there. So I brought the gradient down to 30% and then the white down to 70. After that's done, choose an outer glow and we're going to go to black, normal, and then for the size, it's 10, and then bring down the opacity to 30, and that looks good. And then you're going to have text under this that describes what it is. Now, you don't have to really put the text in Photoshop because really you're going to be wanting to update this in Dreamweaver, so these are just acting as like a placeholder. So text will just go under here, and you can just copy whatever text you want in there just to put something in there for a reference. Okay, so now I have all the display boxes filled and everything's looking good right now. And I have the fake text in here just to show how it's going to look in the future. And so this is pretty much all set for this part of the tutorial. And the next part, we're going to be focusing on the bottom part here, just adding in a few extra things down here and some contact information. And then after we do that, we're just going to add in a few little graphical interface type of stuff, little touches that make it look a lot better. We're going to add in a little bit of directional arrows to right around here to scan through different pictures and things like that. So after we finish that part, it'll be on to the Dreamweaver part, which is going to be slicing this up and cutting them and linking it up and working on all the different coding things. So I hope you enjoyed this part. Please leave a like. Please favorite, please comment, let me know what you think. Any other little tips you want about this will really help out, and I'll definitely include those. So thanks for watching. I hope we can get a lot of views on this, and I can't wait to do the next part, so stay tuned. See you all later.